Yo, what is up guys? Nitro Switch here, back with another Rainbow Six Siege video. Now in today's video, we are going over an operator idea. The operator in today's video, his name is Ink, he is an attack operator, and if implemented into the game, looks like he could really change up the meta as a whole, which would be really, really cool. So if you are ready for an operator idea video, then you've come to the right place. So sit back, relax, and get ready to see an operator that I think would be really cool into the game. So getting straight into it, his name is Ink, of course, I said that before. If you want to know where I got this, I got this off of Reddit, I'll have the link down in the description below if you wanna go check that out. And Reddit is just a really good place to find operator ideas if you're kinda of into that sort of thing. Also, don't forget to follow my Twitter, like this video, and subscribe if you're new because I'm going to be doing a lot of these videos uh, because I really enjoy them and, and so do you guys. So this, this operator is a spec ops of the star team, Origins Singapore, kind of vague on, on main things about him, but the cool thing about it is his gadget and they have kind of these little, little displays of what he could do and really the sky's the limit. If they make it, if they even bring this operator in to Siege, the sky's the limit with this. I mean, you could really do, you could really implement his paintball gun, or, or I'm sure it wouldn't be called a paintball gun. I'm sure it'd be called like an ink cannon or, or some, some, something like that. They could really do a lot of cool things with this operator and not have to change a lot of the aspects of Siege itself because you're using a gun that just shoots onto objects that are already there like a mirror window a class shield etc i did really think it was, i really thought it was cool that uh kind of shoot it down like an oil spill on the ground and you could see footsteps as you can see on the upper right diagram uh this this operator is a three speed one armor his main weapons are a bar 18 i'm not really familiar with that weapon uh, i did a little bit of research on it i couldn't find much about it if, if you know uh, some things about it leave it down in the comments below and also if you have an operator idea uh, leave that down in the in the description below uh, I mean the comments um, but why don't you actually just hit me up on Twitter if you have an idea and I'll talk to you about it because uh, that'd be a whole lot easier anyway also he has the mp5 it's very strange the the weapon setup for this operator I don't really think that they would put both the bar 18 or the mp5 especially since the operators we just got they reused guns i don't know where siege is at is if they're going to be bringing in new guns obviously the mp5 is a dock is docks gun on defense um, but the bar 18 is definitely a different gun and i don't know if they would do that the mp5 would be kind of a cool a cool gun i guess to have on attack i, I wish they would have some something else uh, but you know, it is what it is. I mean, it'd be actually really cool if they put bandits MP7, uh, on, on this operator. That'd be really cool. I think, uh, but Lee, let me know down in the description, uh, in the comments. Sorry. I keep saying description. What you think? Uh, his side weapon's going to be a Glock. Um, seems pretty standard. I think it would actually be, uh, very beneficial if they gave him a sidearm shotgun, kind of like, uh, jackals where it doesn't. It's not a very long range shotgun, so it's not like he's going to be OP to just rush sight, but it would be nice to open up sight lines, especially to, to you know, ink a mirror window or ink a clash or, or just give, give your team, you know, that much more visual um, asset to, to your team. The cool thing also, I've seen a lot of comments because this, this has been floating around, like I said, on Reddit. And also on Facebook, if you're in Facebook Rainbow Six Siege groups, this is where I found it originally. They didn't like that the ink got shot on a camera. And that's why I'm bringing up last because there's a lot of controversial uh, opinions on this. Because why would, you, why would you waste one of his ink cannon shots on a camera? But if you run ink along with Dokubi you're not going to really want to destroy cams. That's one problem with doing that. Once you destroy a cam, you don't have it anymore. And if you have a Dokubi running on your team, you just lost that intel. With with Ink, 
he he all he does is cover the cameras i'm sure it'd be for a certain period of time probably for like 15 seconds maybe maybe 10. it also i mean it's just a kind of a sneaky a sneaky way to do it i mean i think it'd be really cool actually because you can still shoot it it's not like ink can't shoot them but i mean you could you could cover up sight lines and you wouldn't have to destroy it and you could end up using that later and maybe maybe that wins you the round i think it's a really cool idea i really do like and agree with the three speed a lot of people have said that they wanted him to be a two speed two armor i think it'd be really cool to have a three speed because i think if if ink does come into rainbow six siege you're gonna want him to be kind of like that ash kind of like your entry fragger in a sense I don't know it depends on his guns if he's gonna be an entry fragger but you definitely want him out in front because to get footsteps you have to shoot it down and then the defenders have to walk through it right if you're the last person in if you're a two speed if you're the last person in those footsteps aren't going to be as beneficial to your team as they would be if you're the first one in shooting them in key rotate points or or like if they have a cav shooting it kind of in a way that she can't come back i don't know it would definitely be a different map map scenario for using him but i mean i think he'd be a really cool operator to bring into rainbow six siege and i don't think he would be to the point where he's so op that they have to nerf him completely i think that would be really easy and he'd be a really nice fucking counter to clash because if you've ever played against a clash it's not like she's super op all you have to do is hit her shield but she is a tank if she has another defender with her because she she makes you walk slow and then as you're trying to to rotate you're trying to move out of the way you're trying to move back to cover that other defender can then peek and uh kill you i've been i've been killed that way and I, I i know there's a lot of frustration with clash i think they'd also be a really cool idea to counter clash with glass i think they should change they want to buff glass because glass is not in a very good place right now if they want to really buff glass uh glass i think it'd be a really cool idea if, of course this is an idea they'd have to test it out make glass be able to shoot through clash's shield I don't know if you make it where every bullet goes through or if you do it at a random where uh, every third bullet goes through. Obviously, we're talking about Glaz now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it short because we want to be talking about ink. But I think it'd be really cool to buff Glaz and also kind of do a nerf on Clash. But some people think that Clash is just fine where she is and some people think Glaz is just fine where they is. These are just thoughts. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I want uh, this video to have a lot of different aspects to it. I want to have see a lot of conversation down in the comments. So if you have any ideas, leave them down in the description below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And if you see a comment that you agree with, give them a thumbs up or comment down below your opinions as well. But getting back to ink, I think it would be really cool, like I said, to give him a sidearm shotgun to open up sight lines. And then also, you know, maybe he sees the mirror all the way across the room and he doesn't have to peek through a doorway. He can shoot through a soft wall that the defending team didn't reinforce because they weren't didn't have enough time or they had too many roamers or or whatever the round pertains to. And he's able to ink the mirror window and not have to get rid of it because if you're able to put if the mirror window is in a good spot and you're able to to take over the objective you can use those mirror windows later i'm sure that if they did bring in i don't think it would be like a permanent ink i'm sure it'd be probably a, a like i said 15 seconds maybe a 30 seconds it just would depend maybe it'd depend on different surfaces like how fast it would dissipate i don't really know it would definitely have to be a lot of testing brought into this but then you wouldn't have to de destroy the mirror window like when twitch shoots out the mirror window it's now open hole in the wall that if you're able to clear out the mirror by by getting making her her mirror window completely dark with ink where she can't see through it causing her to peek you're able to take her out take over sight plant or if you're playing secure area whatever whatever game mode you like then you're able to use her mirror window as an advantage for you against the attacker or the defenders that are coming back mainly roamers but i don't know this is just this is just an ideas um i think they could also do a lot of different things with with his ink shots it would definitely have to be tested out though because it would definitely be different 
but uh, I've been talking now very long so that is the operator his name is ink I hope you guys are having a great great weekend and I will see you guys in the next video peace out and have a great one